name is Eileen Perez. I'm an astrophysicist, and these are diamonds found in meteorites. So meteorites is the remaining of a meteoroid that has landed on Earth. So it's gone through our atmosphere and has actually landed on Earth. So when we studied these meteorites, we can see like a, a, a very large variety of, of chemicals in the meteorite. So we find a lot of gases uh, and a lot of exotic things, such as diamonds. And this has to do with the fact that meteoroids are debris left in space. So the, the origin of meteoroids vary. It could be from a collision, from an impact, and just a piece of rock was ejected. Gen generally speaking, a meteoroid is not larger than a few kilometers across. So it goes from a few meters to a few kilometers across. So they're actually quite small, so they can come from literally any type of collision. Uh, they generally are rocky and icy with a lot of gases trapped. So because of this, com this wild composition that they gather from whatever collision they were in, you can find a lot of um, exotic crystals and such in meteorites. So one of the important things that is when we looked at the Havero um, meteorite, we found this uh, naturally carbon-based uh, diamonds, but they were ultra hard. But because they were so small, we couldn't really test a lot of it, but it, it seemed to be a naturally forming diamond. So natural diamond. And it turns out that the way we manufacture diamonds here on Earth is very similar to what was happening actually in meteoroids. Now, when a meteoroid is encountering, it's coming from an impact or so forth, it receives that these shock waves from the impact, and they also have a lot of heat. So what happens is that it heats up the graphite layers. So if you have some carbon in the surface, you can heat up the graphite layer. And from this compression, you get uh, diamonds. And this is actually how we do them here on Earth as well. So the Havro meteorite is the one that we were able to find the natural forming uh, diamonds. And uh, we haven't been able to do a lot of testing because of the size, but it does seem to be um, a lot stronger than the diamonds that we see here on Earth, meaning that the manufacturing process was a slightly different. But because it is naturally uh, forming from carbon, it means that it has some similarities to the process that we do here on Earth. My name is Aline Perez. I'm an astrophysicist, and these are diamonds found in meteorites.